Hey, welcome RVers to Coldwater, Michigan. I'm Steve with Kimball Auto and RV. And today we've got a new arrival, pre-owned 2011 Heartland RV Trail Runner. It's a 22 RBQ travel trailer floor plan. I want to show you a few functions and features and um, some of the highlights of this trailer. For starters, we have a power front tongue jack with an integrated camp light. Good storage in the nose or the front. It's um, passed through all the way to the other side. And wide luggage doors for easy reaching. We have a patio awning. Uh, the good heavy stabilizer jack scissor type. And then I pulled out the rear bike rack. This trailer has a slide out rear uh, bike rack or luggage, luggage rack and that post stands up so you can secure bikes to it. Um, nice feature extends out 25 or 28 inches or so. Tires are good the unit is clean it doesn't have any foul odors or any real big damage. We are replacing the original front mattress so um, and I didn't want to wait to put it online or take a video but we have a brand new mattress we're putting in it so um, it'll be starting fresh from that in that regard. So it's a front queen bed master real pretty cabinetry actually um, and overheads instead of a shelf are all usable so very nice four doors overhead and then we have shirt closets on both sides. We do have a purpose-built bedroom TV hookup, as well as uh, windows on both sides for cross ventilation. This is a slider. There's a bedroom wall switch for the overhead lights too. And one reason that is really important is we, uh, this product has an 84 inch or seven foot interior height ceiling. And which really opens up the interior, especially on a non-slide eight foot wide travel trailer like this. Um, so the cabinets are certainly six inches higher than normal, roughly. And um, we get more cabinet height, certainly. We get a more open feel because the ceiling is higher. And uh, great benefit in regards to that. So our living area, we have a jackknife sofa. And this does fold down into a bed. I took still pictures of it down into a bed, but handling the camera myself is too much to do, sorry. But you can see it on our website if you want. Here's our kitchen. Real nice bank of four drawers, and then the side-by-side -side, uh, cabinet doors are usable. But good condition. We've not cleaned it. Um, we probably will, it, but we'll wait until it sells. So it was traded in in very good condition. And another way to tell is a couple ways to look at condition are the oven and range if there's a lot of um, uh, wear, enamel wear on the, on the range top. And this has been used some, but it looks really good. And uh, the fabric wear on the sofa is fairly minimal. And another thing that we look at is if the fabric wear on the dinette benches are torn um, and there's a minor, minor stain in that one maybe. I don't think it's a shadow, but something that can be cleaned up and is expected with a uh, eight or nine year old travel trailer. Really good condition. I guess I would say it's above average condition for the model year. Um, so we have a stereo CD, DVD, AM, FM with bass boost of all things. Just kidding. And a snooze button. Um, side dinette with a real nice panoramic picture window that vents is on our camping side. This is the door or awning side of the trailer, of course. So it's a great place to get natural light, sit and play games or eat. Um, this, this trailer will sleep uh, four adults roughly. Uh, two in the front master. One and a half on a couch and one and a half on a, on a booth dinette like this. So four real people. But the factory calls it a six sleeper, in which case grandkids are small, that might be happening. So our overheads in the kitchen. Uh, two here, two here, and I've opened the door really nice. Um, 
a microwave above the range and oven and then we have a gas electric nor cold six cubic foot refrigerator with a separate freezer so very nice and then I'll show you the rear bath because this is probably one of the biggest highlights of the trailer they've used the eight foot width of this back bathroom um, this trailer for the rear bath so it's a step in shower tub combo um, we do have a nice medicine cabinet vanity sink storage below we have a foot pedal flush china or porcelain toilet and then um, let me show you what is on the off door side of this wall I'm in the bathroom I have this open so there's wardrobe in these two overhead based on the clothes hanging bar and then there's shelf unit for linens in these two and then this one single door opens on the right so this is the most storage that we have in this travel trailer anywhere it's located in the rear bathroom um, so big bonus very nice there's a look by the way, let me recap. 2011 Heartland RV, Trail Runner, 22 RBQ, which probably means rear bathroom, queen bed front. Uh, it weighs 5042 empty weight. Sorry, I didn't point that out earlier. So it weighs 5,000 pounds empty. We have it sale priced at 89.57 sale price. It has about a $10,000 range book value and we have uh, aggressively priced it for September pricing. So stop and see Jeff or Steve. There's only two of us and the dog and our accountant Scott who works part time. So love to see you, love to meet you. Stop by, take a tour and let us show you what's new and what's used and what's exciting and fun for your family in the world of RVs. All right. Thanks again. Remember what's important folks. Get out and see this great country of ours and go RVing and God bless.